Dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to join all of you this morning for the opening of this NKF Center. It has a very important history. Five years ago, when the Titi Dure scandal broke out, NKF was in crisis. Many Singaporeans who donated to NKF felt betrayed. And at that time, there were all kinds of calls to shut down NKF, for the government to take over, many severe criticisms and very negative feelings. But all of us know that you know, we must never throw the baby out of the, of the bath water. NKF was doing good work. And many patients needed NKF. So it's important to restore trust in NKF and put the organization right. One evening, while all this unhappiness was raging, I happened to sit next to Mr. Lee Bokguan at the dinner. Mr. Lee turned to me and said, why don't we do something to help NKF? People refuse to give money to NKF. He said, let us, some of the key religious groups in Singapore, change people's feelings. Let us give to NKF. At that time, I myself was swept in emotion. So I told Mr. Lee, I said, who would give at a time like this? People are also angry. But because I know Mr. Lee to be a very good man, it troubled me, you know. So I, I thought about it over dinner. And later on, after a few courses, I told Mr. Lee, I said, if we just raise money, people will not agree. But if you tell Singaporeans we are building a new dialysis center to help patients, something concrete with a clear result, I said we can do it. So he nodded, he said, he asked me to organize it. He himself would make sure that there will be supporters. So I call up Gerard. I said, Gerard, what do you think? He said, yes, let's do it. I knew that in this area, there were, we don't have enough. So I call up Gua Kuang. I said, Gua Kuang, I, I, do you have a space? Can we bring in community organizations? He said, count me in. Mr. Lee Bokwan contacted Tiam Lai, contacted the other relig religious groups, Lorong Ku Chai, Tope Kong Temple and all the others. Then Gua Kuang went around, got the coffee shop to contribute. So many fundraising events, the book changed. And at the same time, NKF was also putting things right. And you know, Gerard E, without him, there won't be the new NKF. Really, you, you think about it. Take your minds back to four years ago and the feelings against NKF. It was in real danger of being destroyed completely and all the people who were patients would have been put to inconvenience. Of course, government would still have looked after them. But it would have been a very different organization. So today now, we have a dialysis center which is very different from all the others because it is born out of a crisis and created by people who wanted to do good. Big organizations, small organizations, many people. 
So as I was driving here to this opening ceremony this morning, my mind went back to all the things that happened where NKF is today. A different approach now to kidney treatment in Singapore. We are getting older. More and more people will have kidney troubles. Life can still function quite normally, not only with dialysis, but also with peritoneal dialysis. And we also have new rules on organ transplantation. And just, I think a year ago, the Muslims in Singapore decided to join Hota. I see Haji Abu Bakar Maidin in the audience. Years ago, he invited me to launch a book on kidney donation. Gradually persuading the Muslim community that this is a good thing. That Muslims in Singapore should also be a part of Hota. And when finally one day I heard that this has come about. In my heart, I said, Haji Abu Bakar Mahdin played a critical role so many years in making it happen. So now we have a range of responses. And as we grow older, as there are more and more senior citizens, many with kidney problems, I believe the system we now have in Singapore is really an extraordinary one. And it is extraordinary because we have so many extraordinary people in our midst. And I'd like to thank each and every one of you for all your support in making NKF a success and this new dialysis centre possible. Thank you very much. Thank you, Minister.